Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? For what we have here, we can take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. Now, this becomes x raised to the power 6 minus 5 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. And here, we can express this as x raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 minus. 5 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 then equals to 0 from here as 2 times 3 here will still be 6 from here then here this follows what we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b and here a stands as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 5 raised to power 3 then what we have follow this and becomes x raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets then open bracket x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 from here and here we have two possible cases that like this we have x raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. And on this side, now we solve this follows a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared then what we have here follows this and we have x plus 5 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 5x plus 5 square close bracket then equals to 0 from here at this here we have two cases at this x plus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 5x plus 5 square which is 25 equals to 0 from here that is on this side we have x equals to minus 5 which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 25 and from the formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then here this becomes x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 then over 2 times 1 that is we have x equals to minus times minus here we have plus that's 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared that's 25 then minus here we can also leave it as 4 times 25 then over 2 here which implies we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is common here we factor it out and we have 1 minus 4 here left then over 2 here that is here x equals to 5 plus or minus root 25 times 1 minus 4 that's minus 3 over 2 here which we can separate as x equals to 5 plus or minus root 25 times root 3 then times root minus 1 over 2 here now here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 25 is 5 then we have root 3 root minus 1 is i then over 2 here we have two complex solutions here then 
Solving from second case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is equal to a minus b into brackets, open bracket a square plus ab plus b squared. That is what we have then follow this, and this becomes x minus 5 into bracket, then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square now equals to 0 from here that is here also we have two cases x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 5x plus 5 square which is 25 equals to 0 here and from here we have x equals to 5 also a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 5, and c equals to 25. And applying the formula here, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25, then over 2 times 1. And here, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square here, that's 25. Then minus, we can still write as 4 times 25. Then over 2 here. Thank you for watching Master T, Math Class. Then here we have x now equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is common here. Then we factor it to remain 1 minus 4 here over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times minus 3 over 2 here. Which also we can write as x equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 25 times root 3 times root minus 1 then over 2 that is we have x now equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 25 also 5 then we have root 3 root minus 1 that's i then over 2 also here we have two complex solutions here then all together we have six solutions in this problem two a solutions and then four complex solutions here so we have two a solutions two complex here two complex here making six together and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on. share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section and join our membership package see you next class eh? bye for now